Teresa, you are on the show Hunted. You are tracking people down. I want to know, since being on the show, what have you and the audience learned about, I guess, tracking people digitally? What's been interesting is to see how uh, Americans are reacting to the ability to track deleted emails, deleted social media accounts, deleted posts, and it seems like people still don't really realize that delete is never really delete. So that's actually been a great learning. Uh, the other thing that's been really fun is I'm hearing from a lot of families who are watching the show together and parents are using the show to show their kids, see this is what I've been talking about, this is why you want to be really careful what you do online. So it's been a great learning experience for families and it's really touched me, uh, touched my heart to see that. With all this sort of digital hunting you're doing, are you learning yourself how you could make yourself invisible digitally and how impossible would that be? It's incredibly difficult to be digitally invisible. It would be easy for me to do. It's the people around me that I love and trust and my friends and, and my coworkers they wouldn't be off the grid. And so that's the piece that I think people need to take away from this, is even if you think you're clever enough to go off the grid, everybody around you who's rooting for you, who's missing you, who wants to help you, they're not. So from this experience of working on Hunted and the great advice of the education of the family, what do you think like organizations now can learn about sort of building up their own digital privacy to ma maintain their own kind of secrets? What what can they learn? I, I mean, hopefully businesses are watching the show and learning a few things as well. One, how to create a situation where you know that your employees are physically safe based on what's happening on social media because your, your employees can be leaving cyber footprints leading right to your company door. The second thing to be thinking about is the fact that delete is never really delete applies also to the business world. And that means all of that data that you've been storing or you think you've been deleted, it's all available when that inevitable data breach happens and the hackers get into your corporate network. So you really need to be thinking differently about how do I actually hide the data that I have and need to use so when that breach happens, it's not so easy for them to take everything. What about the, the Google right to be forgotten that very much Europe has embraced? Is that, because my feeling is, well, that's just one search engine. How much am I really being forgotten? Is it just, you know, glad handing here? Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I actually love the idea of the right to be forgotten. I think it's incredibly challenging to actually implement it. But I do think that there are people at different points in their lives who will make mistakes or, unfortunately, other people will take information that's compromising, a picture, a video, whether the person knows it or not, it's being taken and posting it. And I do believe that if we can find the right way to d hit the erase button, then we can stop some of the cyber stalking, the cyber bullying, the suicides that happen because people think that there's no hope. So I do like the concept, I just think it's incredibly difficult and complex to implement as the law is written today.